Mr. Breen, thank you so much on behalf of uh, the Cathedral alumni community and students um, and for myself and all those of us that didn't make the choir who got to be in your class and uh, for all of the eighth grade students that got to be in your musicals and will continue to be for years to come. Uh, I'm excited that you and I get the chance to work together more um, and thank you for giving me a love, lifelong appreciation and love of music, teaching me how to play the piano, uh, even maybe when I wasn't the best student, um, and being a positive influence in my life at a young age uh, to really love uh, music in a way that I may never have otherwise. So with uh, deep appreciation for you and for the, your service to Cathedral and to the community, um, Thanks so much and congratulations for this award. Mr. Breen, Stephen Epstein. Hey, just wanted to wish you congratulations. Thanks so much for being such an awesome teacher. Definitely remember uh, all the great times in music class with, uh, with you playing things and opening our ears to, uh, to culture and finer things in life. Um, I remember uh, when that one time when I had this little uh, remote control um, that could adjust to any television and um, I was changing the channel and turning off the TV during class and it was driving the bug shit crazy <laughs> and you had no idea who was doing it and it was me. Um, anyway, I thought, uh, I don't know if you remember that, you probably know, but anyway, I do, it's funny. Anyway, wishing you all the best, uh, thanks for being so awesome, talk to you soon. What a lovely view. Um... Hi, everybody, or hi, Mr. Breen. This is Marcus Lee, I believe, class of 1984, probably. Um, that would have been like Jeff Ralph, Zach Higgins, Paul Haas, whatever class that is. Um, anyway, I uh, wanted to share a couple of memories with you. Number one is I remember when we first met you, you uh, told us you didn't like the idea that, idea that we all had to call you Mr. Breen, that we could call you Sean in private, but if we called you Seen, you would break our fingers. It was either fingers or legs, but it was something like that. Um, that's number one. But uh, number two is probably my favorite memory of you. My favorite memory uh, is involves the fact that you knew that a bunch of my friends or your, the music class I was in, we all liked the Inspector Gadget theme song, which goes da na 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 na. And you were playing with, uh, you were playing a, a dueling pianos or a duet uh, with two pianos with a uh, Canon Fencer Maker. And midway through the piece, which I believe was classical, but I don't remember which one, you busted out with that Inspector Gadget riff, which was absolutely hilarious and kind of a cool private joke between you and the music class. So I, I thought that was awesome. And the lesson I learned from that was no matter how serious or uh, how important things can be to stay modest and not take yourself too seriously or take oneself too seriously. And so. That kind of translates into a little bit of how I've been in my life, working at a Fortune 50 company, wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> but it's a designer t-shirt, so I still had to maintain some class. <laughs> um, anyway, congratulations on receiving this great tribute. I'm really excited that um, Deborah and the team put this thing together. Uh, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi, Mr. Breen. This is Peter Liu, class of 98. One of my fondest memories is how you used to highlight the notes on our sheet music when I was in bell choir. It helped me and a lot of other boys feel like we could be musicians too. So thank you very much. Mr. Breen, congratulations! Um, I'm a professional musician now, thanks to you. Hey, what's up Mr. Breen, and I guess everybody else. Uh, my name is Ever Lampkin. Uh, I guess I graduated in 2009. Uh, just wanted to say, you know, you're always a great teacher, a uh, great musician. She's a wonderful person in all of our lives, and uh, just wanted to give you some thanks for that, you know. A favorite memory would have to be uh, getting kicked out of your class on the last day of eighth grade, I believe. Me and, I think it might have been seventh grade actually, but regardless, me and Omar and everybody were just kind of goofing around and. I think Fouad got sent outside and uh, 
we thought it'd be a great idea to do somersaults and uh, he kind of just walked in and I was mid somersault so I was like you know do, do you want me to go to the, <laughs> the principal's office and you were like yeah so that was pretty funny <laughs> so yeah once again just thanks and uh, you know wish you the best all right peace good morning Mr. Breen uh, congratulations on this big accomplishment I remember fondly our year together when I was in 8th grade, I was in Marcus Lee's class, class of 1985. Um, I still remember uh, getting to be the narrator and or one of the narrators and Joseph, excuse me, Joseph, an amazing Technicolor coat way, way back many centuries ago, not long after the Bible began. Um, that was a big highlight for me given my love of, of musical theater. You, you brought so much um, groundedness and uh, real-world practicality to the world of music and you also brought it into that that room down off uh, Gresham Hall and the, the, uh, the gymnasium. I, I, I love music, still play music, um, enjoy music with my sons and the foundation that all of Cathedral School and, and you and that send-off year of eighth grade uh, lives with me. So um, all my love and congratulations and best wishes, wishes in this uh, next phase of your life. Thanks. Yo, Mr. Breen, I don't know if you remember me. I'm like cathedral class of 2002, but you were like my original music teacher and just wanted to let you know that I still make music now. I got a single coming out on May 3rd and uh, you know, you were one of my first musical influences, so right on. And congratulations on everything. Hi there, I studied with Sean from uh, 1993 to 2001 at Cathedral, and uh, he was one of the first people to get me into music, so I'm incredibly, incredibly, um, feel very lucky to have studied with Mr. Breen for that amount of time. Um, he uh, had an amazing ability to kind of connect humor and pop culture and music all together. Um, you know, he was probably one of the funniest teachers I've ever had. We got us cracking up at The Simpsons. I know how much he loves it and we all, you know, laughed at whatever he said. So um, he was amazing. Um, he also had incredible foresight seeing um, what was going on in the late 90s with the, the Napster and the MP3 boom and the with Metallica and all that, the lawsuit. Um, and I, it affects me now, at the time I didn't think it would, but um, he was absolutely right. And um, I'm now a professional musician, I'm actually on tour right now. Um, so Mr. Breen had a super, super huge influence on me. And um, his ability to play guitar and piano and sing and write, I mean, he wrote all that original music um, in for the eighth grade musicals that was, you know, that's not an easy thing to do, and um, I'm just very thankful for his love of music, and he was such a passionate teacher, um, I, and yeah, so thank you Mr. Breen so much, congratulations. My favorite memory of Mr. Breen would just have to be the accumulation of all nine years of being exposed to music, from being the first person teaching piano in the first grade, to having me leave my comfort zone and sing in front of every, everybody during the eighth grade musical. Mr. Breen was that first person to spark a passion in music in me that now has a place in every instrument I play and every piece of music I hear. Thank you, Mr. Breen, for all you've done for us, and I'm looking forward to all the great things you'll continue to do for our boys. Hey, Mr. Breen. It's Aram. I um, can't thank you enough for that, that moment in my life when I made my first song with you and um, wrote the lyrics and the piano together and you allowed me and Ron Holman to uh, really express what we were feeling and you just guided us and you didn't take over and you let us make it truly and the song was called Home and I still remember every lyric and it's funny because now uh, I do music for a living and uh, my group name is Home so uh, here I am in the music studio <laughs> and uh, living to make the world a better place through music, which is what you taught all of us. 
and uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. God bless. One of the things Mr. Green taught me is that it's really important to find a job that you like. Mr. Green is always so energetic when he comes to school. He brings all of his joy, teaching and playing music, and he passes it on to the younger students. Hi, Mr. Breen. Carl Lunenbach here from the class of 87. It's not my favorite mem memory of you, but my most vivid one has to be when you scored on me on two consecutive possessions in the faculty eighth grade basketball game in pretty much the same way. So it was quite a lesson on the basketball court that day, seeing I remember it all these years later. Off the court, however, I learned from you how to be kind. As you know, I was in the minority of students that didn't have you regularly as my music teacher, but you always made the extra effort to come on over wherever we were in the hallway or on the roof, to say hello, to check in, to put an arm around me and, and see how I was doing. It's something that obviously endeared you to all of us who passed through the halls of Cathedral. I'm grateful that you did that and I'm so glad that you will always be a part of our great school's history. So it's not goodbye, of course. I know we will see you soon. But thank you for everything. Take care. There's a place where I can go Where in my heart I surely know Everything is alright In a valley not far away Where rivers run and the children play Everything is alright Someday soon I'll be going home To drink the water and breathe the air And rest my weary bones Everybody needs a home Everybody needs a home Thank you Mr. Breen for making CSB your home for so many years. We love you. We cherish your memories, everything you've done for us. Peace and love.